Now, before I start, I should probably give a disclaimer and tell you shouldn't do it, but I don't really care because it's fun and you're going to do it anyways. So, all you're going to need is a box of matches. And once you get your box of matches, it's really simple. All you're going to need to do is start cutting off the ends of all the matches. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not one of those YouTubers. We're not going to need to be using any of those matches. All you're going to need is this outer red phosphorus layer right here. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off for you guys. Frick that. I'm just going to have now red explain it. I found that the easiest way was to just dab the matchbox with a wet paper towel and then scrape off the red phosphorus using a spatula. Timing with this method is important because if we don't wait long enough, the red phosphorus won't come off, but if we wait too long, it will get the box soggy. If the box is soggy, the red phosphorus doesn't scrape off very well, and we'll also get a little bit of cardboard along with it. So that was surprisingly simple, but also really boring. So instead of that, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make white phosphorus. <laughs> So go ahead and grab yourself a ceramic plate and that piece of red phosphorus you cut off. Place it face down and we're going to go ahead and burn it. Before that though, in case you guys are worried I'm going to get a copyright strike for showing not red, I don't really care because I only have 100 subscribers and I'm very far away from ever being monetized. And you get 3 copyright strikes, so I'm good. So like I said, you're just going to put the piece of paper face down on the ceramic plate and burn it. This is going to turn the red phosphorus into white phosphorus. I really don't know how, but you also probably shouldn't breathe in the smoke because I bet that's dangerous. My best guess is when it burns, it like evaporates and then it gets condensed on the cool ceramic plate. What's left over right here is my white phosphorus. Now I just want you to rub the Danish war chemical on your fingers. Because white phosphorus is so volatile, doing this causes it to react with oxygen in our air. This is kind of why it's so dangerous. It's also really sticky, so if it burns, it's, it's going to stick to you. Kind of like napalm. Speaking of napalm, if you guys want me to, just write down in the comments and I'll go ahead and show you how to make it in my next video.